Hello everyone. In this lecture, you will get to know about rocket immunoelectrophoresis, abbreviated as RIEP or RIE. Before this lecture, I would request you to watch the lecture on electrophoresis. The link is given in the description box and in the i button. So in this slide, you can see there is a rocket flashing high in the sky. On the other side, there are the white colored bands which have the shape of the rocket tail. Because of the similarity in these two shapes, this technique is called rocket electrophoresis. So let's get started. This technique was introduced by Laurel in 1966 for the qualitative detection and quantitative estimation of infectious bursal disease virus specific antigen in experimentally infected chicken and samples collected from the suspected outbreaks. The antigen was detected in the serum samples of the experimentally infected chicken and from the chicken who were suffering the disease in the outbreaks. The technique is called rocket immunoelectrophoresis. Let's see the different parts of this term. The rocket is for the unique shape, the tail of the rocket. Immuno for the immunological molecules. These are antigen and antibody. Electro for the electric field. Phoresis is for the movement. Let's revise the terms antigen and antibody. Antigen is a foreign substance that enters in the body of the host to make an immune response against that substance. The antibody is a specialized immune protein also called immunoglobulin which is produced because of the introduction of the antigen in the host body. You can see the interaction between the antigen and the antibody here. The antigen has got determinants on its surface. These determinants are called antigenic determinants or epitope. These are the determinants because of which the antigen binds with the antibody. The antibody is a Y-shaped molecule. It has got two arms. On these arms, there is the site which is called paratope to which this epitope binds. There is specificity between the binding of the epitope and the paratope. Each unique epitope will have got its specific paratope, then only it will bind to this antibody molecule. So this interaction is very easy PG. You can see it as the EG. EG stands for epitope, G for the antigen from the gen term and the PG, the paratope and the B from the term antibody. The rocket electrophoresis is a type of electroimmunodiffusion. That means the diffusion of the immunological molecule under the influence of the electric field. It is a method used for determining the concentration of antigen in an unknown sample. The antigen migrates from the well through the agarose gel. Agarose gel contains the antiserum forming rocket shaped precipitin peaks. The height of this peak is proportional to the concentration of the antigen loaded in the corresponding well. The principle of rocket electrophoresis is based upon the movement of the antigen out from the well which enters into the agarose gel which contains the antibody. There is immunodiffusion of the antigen. The antigen diffuses and combines with the antibody to form the immune complex. Initially, the antigen is in excess over the antibody, so there is no visible precipitation. As the antigen 
migrates further in the gel more antibody molecules are encountered that interact with the antigen to form the immune complex when this immune complex lattice becomes large enough to be retained within the gel the movement of the antigen stops the antigen antibody complex is seen visibly as the white precipitant bands the area of precipitant bands has the shape of a rocket so that's why this technique is called rocket immunoelectrophoresis and the height of the rocket is proportional to the concentration of the antigen present in the well these are different heights of the rocket shown in this figure these depict the difference in the antigen seen the difference is seen as the height of the precipitin rings so high is the concentration of the antigen present in the well it will further migrate through the gel and interacts with sufficient antibody to form the precipitin peaks the requirements for this technique are agarose the tb buffer anti serum standard antigens this particular kit which is shown here it consists of four standard antigens test antigen a test antigen b template glass plate and the gel puncher this is the equipment which is used for the rocket electrophoresis this is the similar horizontal assembly which is used for the agarose gel electrophoresis also conducted for the dna electrophoresis second requirement is that of the par pack the procedure first of all 1% agarose gel is prepared 15 ml is prepared the solution is cooled to 55 to 60 degrees celsius then the anti serum to 50 microliter anti serum is added to the 13 ml of the agarose solution it is mixed well for the uniform distribution of the antibody this agarose solution is poured on the glass plate which is grease free and kept on the horizontal surface the gel is allowed to set for 30 minutes the glass plate is kept on the template the wells are punched with the help of a gel puncher in the wells 10 microliter of the given standard antigen and test antigen samples are added in the first four wells the standard antigens are added in the last two wells the test antigen are added 1x tbe buffer is poured in the electrophoresis tank in such a manner that it just covers the gel remaining buffer can be stored at the room temperature electrophoresis is carried at 80 to 120 volt and 60 to 70 milliampere current until the blue dye travels 3 4 cm from the well the electrophoresis should be not conducted more than 3 hours at it would generate the heat the incubated the glass plate after the electrophoresis is incubated in the moist chamber overnight at 37 degrees celsius after the incubation look for the presence of the precipitant peaks in the shape of the rocket against the dark background the height of the rocket is determined using the marking from the base of the well till the tip of the rocket in this picture different heights of the rockets they are seen these heights they are noted in the tabular manner the height of the standard antigens they are noted and the height of the test antigens they are also noted and then the graph is plotted the graph is plotted the height is taken on the y axis versus the concentration of the antigen on the x axis and for plotting the graph not a normal graph paper but a different graph paper called the semi log graph sheet is used this is the semi log graph sheet which is used 
on the y axis there is the linear scale or on while on the x axis there is the semi log scale on the y axis the height is plotted on the x axis there is the concentration of the antigen while plotting the height of the standard antigens a straight line is obtained the height of the sample antigens they are spotted and extrapolated as the concentration of the antigen the height of the precipitin peak depends on the concentration of the antigens loaded in the corresponding wells by plotting the graph of concentration of the antigen versus the length of the precipitin peaks we can calculate the concentration of the test antigen this technique has got applications for the quantification of the antigen in the serum the specific proteins in the protein mixture for example casein in the food samples can be quantified for detection of the serum abnormalities especially those involving immunoglobulins urine proteins csf cerebrospinal fluid pleural fluid and other body fluids so that's all about this technique thanks a lot for your patient hearing please subscribe to the channel for the more informative lectures thank you